Governor J.B. Pritzker pushing the Illinois State Police to change its policy regarding who can get a firearm owner's identification card, the FOID card. The plan in the pipeline, but not yet approved, comes as questions continue to swirl over how the Highland Park shooter was able to get his FOID card despite police visits over violent outbursts. CBS 2's Chris Ty live tonight for us with exactly who would be impacted by this. Chris? Joe, clear and present danger lists. You get put on them on Illinois if you show certain types of behavior, behavior like imminent or substantial threats being made that police are made aware of. Governor Pritzker wants to add more people to those lists so they would get flagged in case they applied for a FOID card. People who are showing signs of threats relating to assault or suicide. It's been well documented that when police came to the home of the Highland Park shooter in September 2019, family told police he stated that he was going to kill everyone. That visit where police confiscated 16 knives, a 12 inch dagger and a 24 inch samurai type blade from the suspect's closet. That visit triggered this report from the Highland Park Police that right at the top says this is a person determined to pose a clear and present danger. That's according to the Suburban Police Department, but Illinois State Police didn't classify him as such. It was determined there was insufficient evidence to establish a clear and present danger. Three months later, the suspect applied for a FOID card from Illinois State Police and was approved. Today, Governor Pritzker pushing ISP for an emergency rule change that would make approval of that FOID card harder. The new rule allows the Illinois State Police to look at the history of clear and present danger records where previously they could not look at that history. Would this have prevented the Highland Park shooter from accessing a weapon? It seems unclear that it would have prevented this particular shooting. That shooting made it clear that when there are clear and present danger reports, we could do better. If approved, it would widen the net to include more people as clear and present dangers. As the rule stands today, individuals must be imminent or significant threats. The change would allow verbal behavior or suicidal threats to qualify. We should also point out this applies not just to those applying for a FOID card, but to the process of revoking a FOID card as well. One other thing, as Joe mentioned at the top, this is not on the books yet. It still needs to get approval from the Secretary of State's office. And if it does get approval, it would only be on the books for 150 days. Governor Pritzker's office indicates, though, they would like to make it permanent soon. In the Loop, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.